Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm gonna to show you how to mirror and control your Android device right from your Windows desktop. Now picture this, you sit down at your desk to work and you plug your phone into your computer so it can charge. So right now you've got two high-tech devices connected to each other, but you still have to use them independently. The next time you get a text, you gotta pick up your phone to respond then switch back to the mouse and keyboard to continue your work. That's not the way it should be though. The two devices should work together hand in hand, and you as the user shouldn't have to do all that juggling. Well with a new app called A Power Mirror, this is actually possible and it's incredibly easy to set up. The first thing you'll need to do is enable developer options on your phone or tablet, then turn on the USB debugging feature that you'll find in that same menu. To do that, just head to About Phone and Settings, then scroll down and tap the build number entry seven times in rapid succession. That'll enable the hidden developer options menu. So back out one level, then head in there to enable USB debugging. Once you've done that, just head to the Play Store and install a Power Mirror, which is all one word. From there, the rest of the work will be done on your Windows PC. So let's head over there. Now over here, you'll just need to install the a Power Mirror companion app for PC. You can download the installer file from step three at my full tutorial. And once you've done that, just launch the EXE and follow the prompts to get it installed. On first launch, it'll offer you a chance to upgrade to the Pro version, which has some nice features, but is really not necessary in my opinion. So I'd say just click the Evaluate button to use the free version of the software. Now at this point, you'll be prompted to plug your phone into your computer, so grab a USB cable and do just that. From here, you may see a pop-up on your phone, and if you do, make sure to tick Always Allow and press OK. Starting right now, you'll be able to fully control your Android device using the mouse and keyboard on your PC. If you have on-screen navigation buttons, you can just click those with the mouse. Or if not, the desktop window frame has its own set of buttons you can use. But basically, it's an intuitive experience, so you can click around the screen here, just like if you were holding your phone. There's even handy buttons for taking screenshots and recording the screen. Plus, you can rotate the phone into landscape mode, and the window will respond in kind. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.